Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, there, was, there was a question on the uh, channel about CPU speed and understanding what CPU is faster than another CPU and how to really go through all of it because it's a complex thing. Uh, honestly, CPU speed is... Uh, you, you know, it goes with a certain, um, you know, generation, the latest generation technically should be faster than some older generation. It's not always true. Some cores, you know, some i7 or i9 from three years ago might beat an i3 today. Absolutely. Because they're not all in the same category as performance wise. There are categories of CPUs. And Intel, actually, its categories are, you know, i3, i5, i7, i9. And sometimes they're not defined like that. They will def be defined as Celeron Core, or and it's not totally clear what exactly that is. Usually when there's no numbering next to it, it's uh, slowest CPUs of all. But um, it's also uneven not every generation is necessarily faster but we kind of have a faster cpu on a new generation but what's complex here is that you know people will shed a lot of money because the latest greatest cpus are the most expensive and sometimes it's not a good idea sometimes something a couple of years back might actually be much better than what you're trying to buy at a very high premium price. So it's a complex world. It's not, um, you know, uniform. It's not something that you can say every i7 is faster as each generation. And it's clear that you can see it. And it also has another thing around it. Your CPU speed is not the only thing defining the speed of your computer. The CPU speed is a computing speed, but a lot of what your computer's hardware does can slow it down and make a good CPU not perform well. So it's not just a CPU thing, it's also a hardware thing. Good hardware, need, like a good CPU, a really fast CPU needs really fast hardware. It has to go together. Everything needs to be synced at the fastest clock speed possible everywhere. If you have a good CPU on a slower machine, a slower hardware, and it happens often, um, well, you'll get just an average PC, basically. Now, um, is there a chart? I found this that's posted actually not long ago. Um, there's somebody uh, that, that I've been following a long time, um, and he's got this site called Tom's Hardware. So Tom's Hardware uh, has this article on his page. That I'll share the link in the description below and you'll see here they've run thousands of CPU benchmarks on new and older Intel and AMD CPUs because AMD is in there also and it's not always clear to know what AMD chip is faster than this Intel chip you know it's a complex world out there for that so here they've done the benchmarks and they've done charts so if you want to read and see which are the fastest uh, you'll have different information here of all the different um, CPUs from the latest CPUs to older CPUs and they go back in time and even on Windows 10 they've got these lists of speed and they go back in time to really old CPUs and hardware. So uh, check out this website. I think this is going to give you an idea of what CPU is the fastest and if you're about to choose a CPU, you can go in there. And if you see the CPU information, what model it is, you can go in here and try to find it in the list and see how fast is it compared to other CPUs. Um, once again, don't take that too much as, you know, this is absolute uh, perfect truth. There are other variables around the CPU that makes your computer run fast. And it doesn't mean because you get a fast CPU, you get a fast machine. A lot of things will define that speed. So the link to this article is in the description below. Just check it out. And uh, it's from Tom's Hardware, if you didn't know that website, by the way. And pretty sure a lot of 
you that follow me know Tom's hardware, but uh, if you didn't, well, you can check it out. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.